everyone. So it's your boy Oliver here, uh, joined with my friends uh, Mateo and Roca. So uh, today we're going to be talking about a little bit of uh, artillery and uh, howitzers and anything you need to know really, yeah, in the artillery section. So, uh, artillery, I always bring two, or one, or none. Uh, general rule being is it's a very expensive unit and it's really easy to screw up uh, with using them. And uh, There's also a diminishing returns you get from them. Yes, exactly. So, Sometimes they might not per perform as well as you think they would. Uh, so this also comes down. Uh, before you bring any piece of artillery, you need to understand, one, uh, the rules of the map. So no uni, no fixed, because fixed artillery is overpowered, and most likely you probably won't find yourself playing many games where people use rocket troops because they ban them from the rosters, and it's a form of respect we choose uh, when we play against other players. Uh, no unicorns, but honestly, I won't be upset if these guys bring unicorns. Uh, maybe you guys can see what kind of methods we use to kind of combat them um <clears throat> so yeah uh general rule is flat maps or maps that give you good vantage points you want to bring uh foot artillery and other maps you want to bring uh howitzers but not the experimental howitzers so really bad um artilleries i'll probably just list them off on the screen right now that you never want to pick are experimental howitzers and bombardment mortars uh, these pieces of artillery are expensive, and while they might offer cool stuff such as lime shot and such, uh, they will never hit. Um, or it will be really hard for them to hit. I don't know why. It's probably something around with the programming of the game, but they're just not that effective. So generally, uh, you want to bring either 12 pounder or 7 pounder or whatever. The higher the pounder, the better the range, and that goes for the same for howitzers. We're going to show you guys just some common mistakes and some of the basics with uh, field artillery when it just comes to using it and just common like errors I see a lot of uh, new players do. So we're first going to take a look at horse artillery, uh, kind of the benefits as well as just generally what the errors people make with uh, regular foot artillery or artillery that's designed to just shoot cannonballs kind of at it like a straight distance. Now you may think this is a good position until you start firing. So a lot of uh, like, like I said I don't want to roast players but a lot of new guys you know you see they won't be able to uh, well I guess that hits some lucky shot. But there's something called a line of sight, and it's really hard to see. So you see how there's like no line of sight there, and sometimes players will, you know, kind of like target guys, and it's really hard to see sometimes the line of sight, especially if you're like zoomed out all the way. Like you'd think, oh, this part of the hill's flat, and then you zoom in, and then all of a sudden, oh no, it's not actually, you know, and uh, it can be hard to see sometimes. So it's always good that whenever you place your artillery, you go down and you see at what they're shooting at. So you see this cannon will have an issue shooting at Mateo's troops because, well, it's bouncing off the ground. They're shooting straight into the ground. And that's a really big problem I sometimes see uh, with newbie artillery players. So the, the lesson is, is if you see this happening, readjust. Now I want to show you guys uh, why you might want to use foot pounder artillery as opposed to howitzers because a lot of people choose to bring howitzers because it gets kills um, and the regular foot artil artillery doesn't but I want to show you something that you can use to your advantage that the howitzers cannot do. Wow, that was actually really effective. So yeah, 12 pounders high caliber, really good at knocking down enemy troops and disorganizing uh, enemy player formations. So formations are actually very um, key to this whole, uh, to, to most battles because 
if you can mess up an enemy formation, uh, sometimes you can land more shots in with your uh, military. So always make sure, you know, um, even though that howitzers might get more kills because they're explosive, uh, field cannons are not necessarily that bad. They're really good at destroying buildings, which howitzers are not good at. And uh, they're really good at de disorganizing um, lines. Now imagine if volleys were being fired on these German fusiliers right now. They'd be distressed. They'd be losing morale. Um, most of the guys won't be able to shoot back on you, back at you because they're on the ground. So yeah, there's that. And now we're going to go over canister shots. Okay, so canister shots, uh, you want to net basically use them when you get really close to an enemy. They're just like a high-powered shotgun blast. Uh, they're very effective. So if Roka, you want to use the Grand Battery Day Convention and uh, sh shoot at those German Fusiliers. So this is probably the optimum range you want to use canister at. This or closer. Look at that. Absolutely devastating. Now, a lot of problems I see newbies do is uh, shoot canister from too far away. So Mateo, run away your troops right now, just really quick. And you'll see that canister shots are just a waste at uh, longer ranges. Now, a lot of mistakes I see newbies make is uh, using canister uh, at uh, longer ranges. You see, and even if it looks like they're hitting, they're really not. It's not much you can do. Um, it's just a waste of shots and time, and it's not really that effective uh, for anyone. Howitzers! So, howitzers are basically... They will hit your enemy. Uh, they're not as accurate or as devastating as the unicorn artillery, and everyone deems them acceptable, and they will always use them. So, uh, my friend Roka here ended up bringing howitzers. So, it'll be stuff like this. And... Yeah, so uh, Roka, would you like to continue with uh, howitzers? Explain them a little bit. Sure. Um, if you can uh, come to the hill. Yeah, I'm watching, I'm watching. See that howitzer right next to the rock, right? Now, in theory, howitzers can shoot over walls, right? Or shoot over obstacles, you know? Um, you know, that's just how howitzers work. But don't put them up close like this, which I'll show you why. You know, I'm just going to limber them. So, say I want to hit that 6 pounder house foot artillery over there, right? Like, right in front of me. Just start Should I stop moving them? Yeah, you can keep on moving them. It's fine. Okay. Oh, I don't know why they're shooting me. Oh. There you go. Same with the cannons, is a line of sight, right? Although they shoot in an arch, you know? That, like... You know, if you're like right in front of like a huge rock, you know, or sometimes trees, you know, sometimes shells get them like locked into the trees and, you know, they explode there and then sometimes they kill your troops. So now that you know of the basics of uh, howitzers, um, of uh, cannons, of 12 pounders, of uh, some basic positioning that you need to watch out for, which is just uh, field depth, hills, uh, let's talk about some... Uh, some glitches that you may experience. And the first one is uh, bringing horse artillery. So if you bring horse artillery, um, what you might find yourself uh, having is three cannons out of four. Even though when you pick the roster, you think, or you should have four. Even if you bring four into the battle, uh, you'll somehow get three. And this might be because of the extra guys on the horses, but that kind of doesn't make sense because only one guy so at the end of the day it's just a glitch you have to acknowledge if you're gonna bring horse artillery um, or mobile six pounders that are fast like artillery de cheval um, just expect that you're gonna be robbed one cannon from the game uh, another good point is uh, you can't shoot at 180 degrees so if you're embarked on the cannons I can't shoot at Mateo's troops right here I can target them uh, but these guys won't be able to shoot, so I can just wait forever. They're not going to shoot. Mateo can actually walk up right up behind me and even charge me if he wants to. It's actually really easy. Yeah, even if they're like at this range. 
Actually, Mateo, maybe you could uh, walk around maybe 180. Yeah. Oh, you know what? It doesn't it doesn't matter. Yeah. There's his point. So now here's a neat little trick you can do when you do find yourself having enemies uh, directly behind your artillery and are kind of panicking about them not being able to turn around. Simply just select your guys, make sure you're in the fire mode, so don't click on the swords. And then just basically click on the ground. It cannot be on a unit, just click on the ground. And they will actually turn their cannons, because you can actually select ground targets. And this is how you can bypass this. And then you can select whatever enemy target you want, and just basically fire. So they'll fire, just give them a moment. Okay, that was a bad hill right there, but these guys should fire as well. And they're idle for some reason, so let's try that again. Yeah, there we go. No fire. Just like that. 